Sharon and my first year at UBC has gone by super quick and it is almost already the end of the second semester. So you may or may not have seen before, but at the beginning of the year I had made a video on a day in my life because I commute to UBC and I live off campus so it takes around like an hour and a half to get there by bus. So since I experienced almost a whole year of busing to UBC almost every day, I thought I would share some things that I wish I knew about commuting before coming to UBC. So number one, I think there are lots of ways that you can make your bus ride a lot more relaxing. So you might associate being on a morning bus with it being like super crowded, everyone's a little bit grumpy because it's so early, but actually in my opinion I thought the bus ride was pretty relaxing because my bus ride was pretty long so like for an hour I could just shut my brain off and listen to some music. So I think that leaving the house a little bit earlier is always a good idea because you feel a little bit less rushed and in case the bus that's coming is super super full you can always wait for the next one so that you can try to get a seat. So just a little side note, I think it's pretty easy to feel sleepy on the bus so my personal favorite spot to take a nap is the window seat because you have like something to lean on. So number two, sometimes in engineering um, we'll have to spend long periods of time at school because our schedules are like a little bit busier than other faculties and most of our schedules end at five. So in our app side course where we're often working in teams, um, I've had a couple nights where I've stayed until like eight or nine having fun with my teammates working on the projects. Now it isn't absolutely necessary to stay with your teammates so late if you're living off campus because at least in my experience my teammates have been like really considerate about my schedule and they were willing to meet up a little bit earlier if I had to. But sometimes we have midterms or exams that start at 7 and maybe end at like 9, so it is a bit inevitable that you'll have to be on campus pretty late sometimes. So I remember before coming to UBC, I was really concerned about feeling unsafe when I was walking around at night. But when I got here, I realized that at night, um, the roads are like really well lit and I've never really had to go anywhere like really dark or quiet to get where I needed to go. Um, so you generally feel really safe walking around at night. So number three, speaking of coming home late, I sort of realized throughout the semester that sometimes the commute, it just makes me feel a little bit more tired and unproductive by the time I get home. So I realized that, at least for me, I feel the most productive when I'm on campus. So I'm usually like studying or finishing some assignments in between classes. Um, sometimes I would stay after school a little bit just to finish something up. So during those times, I really make sure to use my time wisely and really take advantage of the time when I have the most energy. So it really depends on you and whether you want to register for a schedule that has like more spaces in between your classes, or if you want to do a schedule that's more like squished together so that you have less time on campus and you have more time at home. Um, it all just depends on where you feel like you will focus the most. So last but not least, I remember I used to feel a little bit worried about not having as many like opportunities to make friends as people living on campus and that I was maybe like missing out on something, but I realized that no matter what, whether you're living on campus or off campus, you'll have so many opportunities to meet some great people. So I found that in engineering, it's actually really easy to make friends in class. And this is because like, believe it or not, even though there are so many people in first year engineering, um, there will be lots of people who will have similar timetables to you. So like wherever you go, there will be familiar faces and like chances are you'll have a friend in a lot of your classes. So that's why I personally don't really feel like I'm missing out on spending time with my friends because I spend so much time on campus anyways. So I hope you learned something new with this video and if you like this video and you want to see more of what it's like to be an engineering student at UBC, be sure to follow us on Instagram or subscribe to this channel because we post videos twice a week during the school year. I'll see you next time!